I'm a, just a poor salesman with a wife and eight children. Where's the rest of your passengers? They ain't anymore. Were you looking for someone in particular? Didn't you pick up those detectives the Circle Wise sent for at Rawhide? Looks like they expected something like this and crossed you up, mister. They hired a special stage and took the shortcut directly to the Circle Y. All right, get in there. Get going! Get out! Stop! Stop. 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 Did you hear what they said? Yeah. Well, there ain't much chance of overtaking that other stage now. No, you and the boys head back for the hideout. I'll tell the boss what's happened. Uh. Well, they gave us a slip. Had right, another stage yeah. at Rawhide. That must be them now. Come on. It must be the detectives. Evidently. Careful, Professor. There. Mr. Brett, I presume? That's right. And you are the... We are the three best detectives in the country. We never fail. Oh, never. By Jove. Uh, I am William Cassidy. These are my two associates. Mr. John Q. Nelson. Mr. Professor California. Gentlemen, this is my daughter Lucy. How, How do, do you, you do? do? This is Kirby, my foreman. And Drake, my segundo. Gentlemen. Gentlemen. Are you really detectives? Oh, ha, ha, ha. My dear young lady, we are not just mere detectives. We are crime specialists. We always get our man. Oh, always. <laughs> and as for you, Mr. Brent, rest assured, we will soon apprehend the culprits who have been pilfering your cows. Well, I hope so. I'll show you your quarters. Thank you. And you will bring our, uh, our luggage. Looks like we've been worried over nothing. Just leave the luggage here, gentlemen. Thank you. What are you looking for? Clues. Never mind the clues, Professor. They can wait. Come. Step right in the house, Mr. Gaffey. Thank you. We'll talk this over after you've rested a bit. Right-o. You'll find your rooms. First one on the left. Thank you all. Thank you. Dad, Dad, I hate to say this, but if those men are detectives, well, I'm Lily Langtree. That's the way I feel, Lucy, but, well, I hope we're both wrong. Nice place Jim's got here, huh? <laughs> nice looking daughter, too. Ah, there it goes. 
I'll be. I'm glad to see you. I hardly recognize you boys in those outfits. I don't wonder. I hope nobody else does. Not a chance. I'll sure be glad when this is over and me using them highfalutin English words. Don't know the meaning of half of them. Well, you've been doing pretty well with them. Yeah. Uh-uh, that's mine. Yeah, that's yours, Hoppy. Pop, get away from here. Well, will you light someplace? <laughs> yeah, oh. right over there. <laughs> <laughs> you take care of everything as I suggested, Jim? Mm-hmm. After I got your letter, I let it be known that I was sending for some Eastern detective. Even Lucy doesn't know who you really are. Ah, that's good. Are you any more cattle? Plenty. And if it keeps on like this, it won't be long before I'm broke. Well, haven't you any idea who the rustlers might be? No, I haven't. But we found some tracks leading toward the creek, south of here. Trail ends there. Oh, well, cattle don't just disappear, do they? Why don't we make sure that the trail does end there? All right. I'll have some horses saddled while you're changing clothes. Good. Now, old Jim, uh, Buck shipping our horses here. You're supposed to have bought them for us, huh? I'll take care of that. All right. You but I tell you, you're just wasting your time with those men, Dad. You'd better let me be the judge of that, Lucy. I, uh... Dear, dear, ready and waiting. Well, will we... Carry on. <laughs> yes, roll on. Oh, by all means. And a jolly good morning to you. Mr. Brent, we are ready to proceed. I forgot to ask you. Do you boys ride? Do we ride? Uh, <laughs> do we ride? <laughs> Why, I suppose all you've got to do is get on and sit there and uh, let the animal do the rest. <laughs> right? Right. Uh, according to the book that I read on horsemanship, it's a very simple procedure. <laughs> you barely approach the horse on the left side, place the left foot in the left stirrup, then you... Oh, yes. You throw the right leg over the horse, and there you are. Jolly! Oh, but there was one very quaint expression that I didn't quite understand. Yes? What was that, Mr. Cashley? Uh, take a deep seat. Uh, a deep seat? Yes. I wonder what that is. I haven't any idea. Well, uh, whatever it is, we'll take it. <laughs> right. <laughs> Mr. Nelson, would you mind holding the steed's head, please? The steed? The horse. Oh, uh, with pleasure. Yes. Yeah. The left. Now, Professor, be sure to use the right foot. The right. <laughs> well, here I am. <laughs> All right. Uh, the animal has your tail at the wrong end. Rather disconcerting, isn't it? I say, shall we start all over again? <laughs> oh, let's. Come down. We'll explain the whole thing again now. Uh, get there now. Yes. Uh, Mr. Cassidy, may I offer a suggestion? But, old boy, we're rather befuddled now, aren't we? Certainly. Now, which is the right foot? The left. The left? The right. left is uh, right and the right is wrong? Right. <laughs> right. Well, uh... Animal has a tail at both ends. I say it must have been the Australian version I read. <laughs> <laughs> well, nevertheless, and pip pip and a cup of tea. Here they are. Ah, ah. Are you hurt, Professor? No, no. Just my feelings. Uh -huh. All right, boys. We better get started. Yes, sir. Be sure to use the right. The right. Your horse, Mr. Gaston. Thank you. By Jovers, I have it. <laughs> Now, come, come, go ahead. Goes nicely, doesn't it? I hope you have a good firm grip on it. Fear not. Left foot, right over. Hmm. Mr. Nelson, you take the black one. Don't be nervous. I'll help you. Well, thank you, sir. Can you give me a hand, Buck? Oh, shut We won't be long. Ta-ta. Shall we go, Professor? Yes. Come in. Think I should keep an eye on them? They won't find a hideout in a hundred years. The 
this is where the trail ends, huh? Yeah, that's right. We followed the creek for miles, hoping to pick up tracks on the other side. Couldn't find them. Hmm. Who lives in that shack over there? Steve Farley, a harmless old prospect. Oh, darn it, he's close enough to have seen or heard them Russell steers. Ever ask him about them? I have several times. He don't know a thing. Let's try him again. They sure look hurt and pretty. Uh, I hope you don't mind answering a few questions. Well, about them Russell cattle, I don't know a thing. By Jovers! I think the man's afraid to talk. He does look rather frightened. I ain't scared of nothing or nobody. And for two pins, All right, I... Steve. There ain't no call to get excited. They just the same as call me a liar. My dear Mr. Farley, my associates have done you a grave injustice. I do hope you'll accept my apology. You're all right, mister. Thank you. Now, after all, your home is rather near the creek. Isn't it possible that you might have seen or heard some of the cows around here? Cows? No. Nope. You see, I'm up in the hills, a prospector most of the time. I understand. But if I do hear or see anything, I'll let you or Mr. Brett know right off. Thank you. You've been very kind. Ta-ta, and pick pick. Ta-ta. Pip, pip. Jim, I think that old coot knows more than he's letting on. No, you're wrong, Hobby. I've known old Steve for years, and I'm sure he'd help me out if he could. Then. Now, if you gentlemen will excuse me, right all. Whoa. Oh, dear. Find any clues? Oh, not yet, old boy. Rest assured that we shall. Oh, absolutely. Positively. I've noticed you boys ain't healed. Uh, healed? But you're risking hunting rustlers without guns. Oh, dear. We never use firearms. Frankly, I don't think that I should know how to discharge one. Well, it's about time you found out. This is a six-shooter. How many shooter? There's six bullets in there. Oh. Follow me and I'll show you how it works. Right. Huh. Yes? See if you can hit that post over there. Post? Oh, my, that's a massive thing, isn't it? Uh, Professor, please. Look out. Why did it the post? Oh, the post, yes. You want to blow your head off? Well, rather not, rather not. I guess there's nothing to lose, old boy, eh, what? Oh, nothing. <laughs> Prepare yourself. <laughs> My <laughs> word, I had no idea they made such a noise. Did I hit the post? Not quite. Well, perhaps I'd better start learning with a small gun and work up to a large one like that. You better start learning quick. I do. Old boy, <laughs> your football. Oh, thank you, sir.
say, lady, oh, lady, oh, lady, oh, lady, from far away. Got no gal, got no pal, keep me company. Only got the funny old hills singing along with me. I'm happy and in there I long to stay, singing lady all night. Lady, oh, lady, and the funny old hills. This is a six shooter. How many shoot it? <laughs> <laughs> From far away. Where did you learn to sing Western songs? I thought you were supposed to be an Eastern detective. Well, uh, a good detective knows everything. And besides, I thought most girls were attracted by jolly Western songs. Well, here's one girl who isn't. <laughs> 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 That's what you get for mixing pleasure with business. Oh dear, you and your funny old hills. Toodaloo. Ta ta. <laughs> Tell Greg to ray the circle X and the double V and grab that bunch in the lower 40. Okay. everywhere else. Oh, you, you nincompoop. Nincompoop? Oh, now listen, I've been called a lot of things. I'm dumb, but I ain't got... It looks to me like we've got a real job on our hands, Hoppy. Yeah, whoever's behind that rustling job certainly knows his business. Mr. Casty? I bought these horses for the use of you and your associates. That's awfully kind of you. What a beautiful animal. And this? That's a rifle. My, what a ferocious looking weapon. And what is this? That's a lariat. Huh, looks more like a clothesline to me. Rather. But I understand that in this part of the country, sometimes they're used for other purposes. They don't always use them for hanging clothes. Dad, why don't you send these men back where they came from? They're making us the laughing stock of the county. They can't ride, they can't shoot, and from what I've seen, they can't even detect their own shadows. That's enough, Lucy. I'm sorry, Cassidy. That's Pete. quite all right, Mr. Brent. We understand perfectly. Come, gentlemen, we have work to do. Yeah, this is your horse. Thank you. Mr. Yes. Nelson, Professor, these are yours. Oh, boy. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Here we go. I'm Professor. Ain't you going after those wrestlers today? Oh, oh, absolutely. We're just about to leave. Tally ho! I say, uh, that couldn't be hot you're playing, old boy. No, it's poker. Haven't you ever played it? Poker. I can't say that we have. No. No. Sit down. I'll teach you. Thank you. Oh, by the way, uh, we play for money. Have you got any? Money? Oh, but definitely. 
Put it out in front of you. Deal for me. First ante a dollar. Ante? Yes, put a dollar in the middle. Ante. Oh, he needs ante. <laughs> there you are. Oh, oh. Five cards are dealt to every player. The yes. highest winning hand is a royal flush. Then comes a straight flush. Then comes four of a kind. Then comes a full house. Then comes a flush, straight. Oh, that's sufficient. I, that's quite enough. You think you understand it now? Oh, yes, quite. Pick up your cards. Pick up, yes. Well, it takes a pair of jacks and let it open. Open? Yes, uh, bet your hand. You have to have a... You got a pair of jacks or better to... Oh, um, I have, uh, I have much. Well, how much do you want to bet on that? Oh, I'll, um, I'll bet fifty dollars. Fifty dollars? Yes. I'll stay. How many cars do you want? Oh, why, well, I have five. Isn't that sufficient? Oh, yes, yes, sure. I'll take two. Takes two. And how much do you want to bet? Oh, uh, let that be your pleasure. All right, I'll bet 50. 50? Yes. Now, uh, now may I put in a uh, uh, hundred more? Oh, you want to raise it another hundred? Well, if that's what you call oh, it, yes. Yeah, sure. <clears throat> oh, but now here's where I'm confused. Did you say that a, a full house beat four of a kind? No, I didn't. But it's good enough to beat my three aces. You win. Oh, thank you. Very simple, isn't it? <laughs> Rather. Hey, just a minute there. You said you had a full house, you only got two pair. Oh, I beg your pardon. I didn't say I had a full house. I was merely seeking information. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having the double D throw in what steers they have left with mine. Between us, it'll be a lot easier guarding just the one herd. When are they driving them over here? Sometime this afternoon. I'll get things fixed up for them. Anything new? Oh, not yet. We're going to take another look. Uh, good luck, boy. We'll sure need it to find those varmints. Cheerio! Ta-ta! <laughs> <laughs> All right, boys, get out and release. Get out and release. The double day is shifting the rest of the herd here this afternoon. Slip away and get word to Greg. <laughs> Get under cover. If I didn't know no better, I'd say these steers had sprouted wings and just flew away. <laughs> I wonder what that is. Might be what we're looking for. Come on. I could have swore I heard gunshots. You must be imagining things. I never had no. Wait a minute. Did you hear them now? That must be that other mouth. What? Raise the double D herd. You stay here with half the men. The rest of you come with Kirby and me. All right. 
action. Let's get out of here. Johnny! I'm just a little bit dizzy. My slug hit me. I'll be, I'll be all right. Oh, that's too bad. Get it, get it. Thanks, stranger. That's all right. You... Get Johnny off the horse and take care of him. Lend me a hand, someone. What happened, Huffy? No doubt, Lord. Tried to rustle the herd. Then they would have if it hadn't been for them. They get away? All but three or four of them. I'll have a look around. Maybe I can spot their hideout. Where's the rest of your men? They got all but me and Pete. You better round up your herd. My boys will give you a hand. Thanks. I say, we'd better take a look at that wound. Seems to be nothing dangerous. It's good. It's all right, Hoppy. Where's Greg? Inside. You blasted lunkhead, what's the matter with you, gun yeller? Wait a minute. Shut up! How come you let three dudes that can't ride or shoot get the best of it? Oh, hold on, Kirby. Who told you they can't ride or shoot? I don't have to be told. I've been watching for more than a week. Well, you must be getting blinded in a bat. You know those dudes knocked off a couple of iron men with some of the fanciest riding and shooting I've ever seen. Fanciest riding and shooting? And if you don't believe me, ask some of the boys. Greg, I'm beginning to smell a rat. You'll hear from me later.
Who, me? Is that what I am? You ain't no cowboy. <laughs> Why don't you try another song? Maybe it'll help a little. Perhaps it might. You know Twilight on the Trail? I think we do, don't we, fellas? Yeah. yeah. And I jog along The world is like a dream And the ripple of the stream Is my song When it's twilight on the train And I'm in My ceiling in the sky And the grass on which I lie The grass on which I lie is my floor. Never ever have a nickel in my Never ever have a debt to pay. Still I understand what real contentment means. Guess I'll. <coughs> back yet? No, he isn't, Dad. Oh, but there he comes now. You've been going so long, I thought the outlaws got you. Where you been? Almost got lost trying to trail those jaspers. Any luck? No, but I got a hunch they're hiding out on the other side of the Cisco Range. And, uh, and where might that be? Oh, about 20 miles south of here. You want me to show you and your friends where it is? Oh, yes, indeed. All right, we'll start out early in the morning. That'll be fine. Thank you very much. What's up? Those three detectives ain't dudes. They're either cattle association men or rangers. How'd you find that out? I'll tell you later. Now listen, here's what I want you to do. Take some of the boys and head out tonight. All right, take cover. And the cabin don't hit the boss. Got rid of them in a hurry. They didn't stick around long, did they? <laughs> I thought you were dudes who couldn't ride or shoot. You mind telling me who you really are? We're friends of Jim Brent. That answer your question? 
Well, not quite, but it'll do. They got away, Hoppy. That's all right. We'd better get going before we run into another ambush. Why not be so lucky next time? Yeah. As long as they know who we are, we might as well get out of these monkey suits, too. Yeah. You mean I can take this darn thing off? Sure, take it all off. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Ollie. Of what? It's us, Miss Lucy. Absolutely. <laughs> Positively. <laughs> These boys aren't what you thought they were, Lucy. They're friends of mine from Arizona. Bar 20 Ranch. <laughs> we thought we'd be more help to your father if we kind of disguised ourselves, but it didn't work out so good. Oh, uh, I'm sorry, really, I am, for all the mean things I've said and thought about. Oh, that. don't give it a thought. Well, oh, Hoppy. Kirby was telling me about the run-in you had with the rustlers. Yeah, and Hoppy sure spoke them out. <laughs> Where are you going now? I thought we'd go back out to the creek bed where that cattle trail ends. I still think your friend Farley is mixed up with those cattle rustlers. That's what I've been thinking all along. You have? Well, uh, I think I have. Oh, well, you're both wrong. I wouldn't be a bit surprised. Well, you guess that way every spring. <laughs> Come on, Johnny. could use a drink. That's a good idea. Those 
packs up to him. Right home. Yes, Professor. shot. We could have got you from the outside. But I thought maybe the boss would like to finish you off himself. But take him on into the cabin. Get gone. Look around for the horses and see what happened to Steve and Charlie. Place. Go get the boy. I will. Saddle up. We're going after the rustlers. I'm going too. You can't, Lucy. It's too dangerous. I can ride and shoot with any of the men. I'm going. What are we going to do? Keep your shirt on and listen. Drop behind and take a shortcut to the hideout. Now, get this. Don't stop them from getting in. You understand? Leave it to me. the door, so don't get any ideas. Pleasant fellow, isn't it? Oh, yeah. And you know, this is a bigger outfit than I figured it was. Yeah. Well, at least we know how to get the cattle in here. Yeah, we know that. Now all we got to do is figure on a way to get ourselves out. Yeah, that's something. Hey. See those matches? Sure do. What about them? There's only one man around here that bends matches like that. Who's that? The man at the head of the rustlers. See that shack over there? Well, that's where they went in and didn't come out. That must be a secret entrance to their hideout. Maybe there's a secret exit on the other side. I'll ride around and see. Take a couple of the boys with you. I can handle it alone. Besides, you'll need all the men we have anyway. Come on, boy.
They'll be here in the next five or ten minutes. Don't stop them from getting inside. What's the idea of letting them in? Because if we stop them on the outside, some of them are bound to get away and spread word where the hideout is. Oh, I see. You're not a one of them to leave here alive. You're right. Take my horse, will you? Come on, ma'am. somebody. Hope it ain't Johnny. What must be California. We gotta get out of these ropes. Can you reach that? before you start blasting.
push it out of the opening. I'll be in there. Chase Kirby in there. They're shooting at each other. Toshi, I gotta get in. I gotta... Don't go in there. You can't tell one from the other in the dark. What's the meaning of this, Hoppy? Kirby's one of my men. He was one of your men. Now he belongs to me. What do you mean? He's the head of the rustlers. Kirby? That's right. Come on, let's get him up on his feet. We rounded up all the stolen cattle, boss. I'll cut out all the steers belonging to the other ranchers, notify the owners. Right. Still the professor. What are you doing with that glass? There's no more clues. Looking for my pipe, Hoppy. Looking for your pipe? Yeah, and I ain't going home without it. Well, you don't have to worry about it. It's strong enough to walk home by itself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Just the same, I'm going to find it. <laughs> well, go on and find it. <laughs> what a guy. Say, uh, you ain't seen my pipe in hat. No, of course you ain't seen my pipe. <laughs> A man eating reptile, six feet long. Where is it? Over there, over there. Yeah. Be careful. Take it easy, take it easy. Try to bite you, but it's no problem. Certainly looks ferocious, doesn't it, Johnny? Yeah. Now be careful, California. Six feet long and dangerous. Positively. <laughs> I must be getting old. Hello, <laughs> 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 